Hey everybody, it's Adam, aka The Real Senso. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be doing an X playthrough of the Digimon X devices. I've got an XA and two of the X version twos. And you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned because this playthrough is gonna involve you. Now the X devices, in my opinion, are some of the best V-Pets hand down, mainly because they've got an incredible battling system. They've got an amazing leveling system as well. They have all these extra items in them that the other devices never had. On top of that, on the XC and the XD, you unlock different evolution lines based off of where you're at in the Coliseum. How freaking cool is that? I just think these are a really a piece of art, honestly. Uh, but that being said, another really cool, amazing piece to those X devices is the lore behind them. I mean, there is so much lore that most people don't know because they didn't get shipped with the English versions of these models. The Japanese models actually came with a little manga that kind of gave you a little bit of a background on what's going on and why these Digimon have X antibodies and what's actually happening with them. So I thought it would be awesome if what we decided to do was dive into the lore for this channel. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be hatching a few Digimon. We're going to be diving into the lore on every episode, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, here's where you come in. If you've got an X device, I want you to go hatch a Digimon. And every single time it evolves, take a picture with your Digimon out in the wild or just living your life. Send it to therealsimso at gmail.com and I will actually put those in my video. I think that would be really cool. Now, when we get to the ultimate level, let's have a big battle. Send me your codes if you've got an ACOM or one of those Wi-Fi comms and I'll battle your Digimon against mine and we'll see who are really the ultimate champions. Now, this is how this is going to work. So I'm going to call this the Love, Luxury and Survive Flame. What we're going to do is once we've got these hatched, the moment that they can fight each other, we're going to make them duke it out. Whoever gets first place is effectively going to be taken really well care of, trained up really nicely. Whoever gets second place is going to live a life of luxury. They're going to be taken care of, but I'm not going to make them train. I might make them go through the Coliseum a little bit because they have to. They're trying to survive. Now, whoever's in third place is going to have it rough. They're going to have to learn how to survive. They're going to have care mistake after care mistake and they're going to be fed, but they're not going to get much else. I am going to train them a little bit. I will force them to go through the Coliseum, but otherwise, for the most part, they're going to be in Care Mistake City, and we'll see how they fare. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and hatch our eggs. So I have never actually played through the XA, through the yellow or the gold. I have played a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and reset that one. Now, the blue version or the silver version, this one I am just gonna load in because uh, I have already completed the quest series or the quest line here, whereas with these, I haven't. That'll just give us a little bit more options as far as what our different rosters could be. All right. Let's go ahead and get an egg hatched over here. Beautiful. Check that one out. The XA has actually got kind of a different egg. Uh, it looks like the XC, which is this one here, and the XD, which is this one here. They've got the black eggs with the white cross. The one in the middle there has got the black cross. That looks really cool. Either way, we're going to get some awesome X antibody Digimon. Speaking of X antibody, now is a great chance for me to give you a little bit of background information about the Digimon X universe. The struggle for survival in the face of Project Ark and Yggdrasil. The rise of the X-antibody Digimon and the emergence of this new terrifying threat that I'm going to be talking about. But before we get into the heart of the epic tale, let's introduce a couple of key players to the story. So really everything begins with Yggdrasil, who is kind of like this godlike entity that governs the digital world, or the different servers you could say. And when the digital world was facing a risk of overpopulation, Yggdrasil decided to initiate Project Ark to save it. But it was going to cost a lot to the digital world. Yggdrasil created something called the X Program, a deadly virus meant to eliminate Digimon left behind in the old digital world. But the Digimon Soul, or the Digicore, fought back, and it produced a miraculous X antibody that allowed some Digimon to evolve beyond the reach of the X program. It was not able to affect them, transforming them into what we now know as X antibody Digimon. These Digimon are stronger and they were able to resist the X program surviving in the old digital world, after all of the Digimon that Yggdrasil had decided to move to the new server had already left. This story takes place roughly 10 years after that event happened, and really it is the background behind something that they called the Pendulum X that was released long before the Digimon X devices. That was sort of the setup for that device. Another group of Digimon that you need to be aware of are the Royal Knights, who were led by the likes of Craniumon, Omnimon, Jessmon, and even Gallantmon, who I'm sure you've heard of. These knights uphold Yggdrasil's will, ensuring the balance of power and overall governing the digital world across multiple servers. 
there's also darkness. There are the seven demon lords, Digimon that are the most sinister that you can imagine sealed in the depths of the dark area, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. These Digimon are constantly seeking to break free and plunge the digital world into chaos. And now that you've got a little bit of background information about this universe, we'll get back into our hatch and we'll pick up here shortly with a few chapters that effectively came with the marketing and also some of the manga that was included with the devices when they initially launched in Japan. Awesome, it looks like we're starting to hatch, so we're gonna go ahead and roll our dice. So the X devices have this really cool mechanic called a Xi roll, where effectively at the beginning of the day, you roll a seven-sided dice, and depending on where you land, that is going to determine the experience and the random encounters, because these devices have awesome random encounters on them. Uh, it's also something that you roll at the beginning of every battle in the tournament mode or the quest mode, and that also helps kind of determine how much experience you're gonna get and how difficult those individual battles will be. Awesome, we've hatched. So here on the XC and the XD, we have what is known as Keymon, and here on the XA is a Pudimon. Let's go ahead and get them fed up and energized. They're just little babies. We've got to take care of them first before we really put them through the gauntlet. Awesome. And now they're all happy, fed. And the next thing we'll do is wait for them to evolve. The digital world faced a dire crisis. Its storage capacity was on the verge of collapse due to the continuous evolution and multiplication of Digimon. To prevent its destruction, Yggdrasil initiated Project Arc, creating a separate partition called the New Digital World. Only the chosen Digimon were transported there, leaving the rest to face annihilation by the Royal Knights and the X program. But time passed, and the old digital world became a desolate land, contaminated by the X program. Ten years later, Yggdrasil orders a survey to assess its state. Craniomon and Sleipmon, armed with the X antibody, descend into this world of death. Upon their return, the Royal Knights report to Yggdrasil. The old digital world has fallen into chaos with Digimon vying for power in a world left to ruin. Realizing they need more strength to restore order, Craniomon and Sletmon propose that Jessmon join their mission. Jessmon, eager to help, devises a radical plan. To quell the chaos, he suggests a battle royale, a fight for supremacy where Digimon can expand their territory through one-on-one -on -one battles. The victor of all territories would then have the authority to decide the future of the old digital world. Though risky, Jessmon, Craniomon, and Sletmon decide to participate themselves, ensuring that no evil Digimon claims ultimate victory. And this explains the battle area for the XA devices. It is that tournament that you are participating in. As battles rage on, a new threat emerges, Grand Drachmon. This sinister Digimon begins to force others into a terrifying form known as Death X Evolution, sending them to the dark area. A netherworld where defeated Digimon are judged by Anubamon. But Grand Drachmon's interference has consequences. His actions destabilize the boundary between the old digital world and the dark area, catching the attention of the seven demon lords, who see this as their opportunity to break free and wreak havoc once again. As the battle royale reaches its climax, the victorious Digimon is about to declare its triumph when an explosion rocks the world, signaling the resurgence of evil from the dark area. Jessmon rushes to the epicenter only to find a gruesome battle already underway as the most powerful and evil Digimon clash for dominance. A little while earlier, Examon, one of the royal knights, senses a disturbance from the dark area. Despite not receiving any orders, Examon feels a plea for help from Anubamon and decides to act on his own. As Examon arrives at the entrance to the dark area, he is met with a terrifying sight masses of evil Digimon attempting to break through the gate that seals them in. Realizing that the balance between the old digital world and the dark area is at stake, Examon springs into action. Examon's power is unmatched as he begins to wipe out the evil Digimon one after another. However, just as victory seems within reach, the tide turns. The evil Digimon, no longer fearing death, launch a suicide attack from all sides, their sheer numbers overwhelming even a royal knight. Behind this sudden shift in tactics is none other than Lilithmon X, one of the seven demon lords who had undergone X evolution amidst the chaos. Her influence drives the evil Digimon into a frenzy, and now even Examon is pushed to his limits. And these evil Digimon definitely represent the areas that you will fight in the XC and the XD, 
because the XC and the XD devices are primarily going to be more of the evil Digimons, whereas the XA and the XB devices are predominantly the heroes of the story, typically. As the battle between light and darkness intensifies, the fate of the digital world hangs by a thread. With Examon facing overwhelming odds and the Royal Knights locked in their own battles, can our heroes prevail against the rising tide of evil? Stay tuned for the next chapter of this epic saga in the next episode. Quick shout out to With The Will, where I found all of the content behind the Digimon X information and lore, and this series is named Digimon Chronicle X. I'll leave a link to this forum in the description down below. All right, guys, back to the action. Let's go check out these awesome Digimon Evolve. One last one here. Nice, we've got a Tokemon X. And on the gold and the silver, we've got a Yamon. Awesome. All right, we're gonna find somewhere awesome to go and make these three fight each other. Let's get a little bit of training in for good old Tokemon X. We'll go ahead and do an Excite training. So the Excite training is really cool because basically it completely relies on your Xy roll for the day. So depending on how well you rolled, you're gonna have faster or slower sliders that move back and forth. Great job, Tokemon. I love the little X too, like whenever he celebrates, I just think that's so cool. The X right on top of his forehead there. Let's get an excellent. And the other cool thing is, is that these have really cool close-ups. So check out Tokemon X's close-up. Nice, look at those teeth. <laughs> Getting in some training for the Yarmons. Tokemon X got training twice, so I figure we'll go ahead and do training twice for these guys as well. Let's see if we can get some excellence in. Excellent work, you two. Excellent work. All right, so we have got everyone evolved into their for baby two stage. And the cool thing about the Digimon X devices are that at this stage, they're actually able to battle, unlike most other devices. One of the things with the X antibody is the fact that basically it is empowering these Digimon. So they're a little bit more powerful than what your regular Digimon would be like. So here's the gist. We're going to put these three head to head and we're going to rank them. So basically we're going to have red versus gold, gold versus silver, silver versus red. We're going to give them a tally system so they'll get points whenever they win. And then if there's a tie, we'll have those two duke it out. Whoever is in the first place, I'm going to take really good care of them. They're going to get really good training. They're going to be the ones that will probably be super powerful. Whoever's in second place, I'm going to call that the luxury mode because they're going to get fed. They're going to be taken care of, but I'm not going to train them. They're just going to live. So the one that gets third place will be the one that has to survive. So what we'll end up doing is just not taking care of them at all. They'll get lots of care mistakes, but they're going to be fully trained. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to do Tokemon X versus Yarmon. Basically, red versus silver. We'll get both of their Xy rolls in. Oh, a one and a three. Okay, we'll do the best we can with this. It's part of the game. You get a good uh, dice roll, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you. 
let's see how they fare. Check out that zoom in on Togemon X, that is awesome. Who's gonna win? Oh wow, Togemon X down. So our silver device is going to have one point, zero points for Togemon X. Now we'll go ahead and do red versus gold. We're gonna give this a third shot. Both on four, this feels like it's the one. There we go, there we go. Nice hit, Pokemon X. Those zoom ins are so awesome. Dang, Pokemon X with the win. So right now we've got one point red, one point silver, zero points gold. So we're gonna put the two Yar mods against each other silver versus gold. Let's do it. Let's heal you up, buddy. The cicadas are crazy loud tonight. Hopefully y'all are able to hear me okay. If not, I'll have to dub this over later or something. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ooh, a six and a one. Dang. Alright, got him. Got him. Perfect. Tokemon's over here just watching, trying to figure out who he's going to end up against. Zoom in shots. Oh, nice. Well, I think it's pretty obvious then who the winners are. So we are going to have our XC device or the silver device with two points. It is in first place. We've got our red device over here or Tokemon X who is in second place. And then our poor XD device over here. This one had no points at all. So it is in third place. So pal, you're going to have to survive. Tokemon, you're going to get to relax a little bit. And Yarmon on the silver, buddy, you're about to be uh, trained up and fed well. We'll see how they fare in the next stage. To celebrate the new Digimon X run that we're going to be doing, I'm going to open up a pack of cards. I picked these up today, so this is from Great Legend. BTO4 is what it says. Oh, cool, Deitramon. So I've been playing Survive, and he's like one of the second evolutions for one of the Digimon. He's really cool. Oh, Heilmon, never heard of you. Tankdramon, Agumon. Oh, I don't have that one. That's a really cool one. Gusokumon, Growlmon, oh, check that out. Meteormon, Bakemon, Chromon, another one from Survive, another one, that's awesome. Bancho Golmon. You know, I've noticed now that there's a lot of Digimon that have like Bancho in the front of the name, and I always wonder if that's like standing for something or what that's about. <laughs> I think there's like Bancho Leomon, Bancho Golmon, Bancho Mamemon. Like, what's the Bancho about? What's the Bancho about? Dark Dramon. Check that out. Aldamon. That's a really cool holographic. Man, that's really cool. Awesome. Quick pendulum color update. Check out this bad dude. I have got one of the coolest Digimon I think I've ever seen. I just freaking love this guy. So Lugermon. He is so cool. Check out some of his attacks. Oh, that's awesome. Look how happy that guy is. All right, time for some training. Let's do a little bit of Excite training. Ooh, not a good one. Let's give it another shot. It's bedtime for these guys. Let's go ahead and just do a quick update. So like I said, second place here. Basically, no care mistakes, no training, just living life, eating, being happy. Good old Goldie or the third place here. 
no training yet. I'm going to do some training in the morning, but as you can see, we've got a call sign on. I'm going to let that go out. Let's go ahead and put second place to sleep. That luxury life must be nice. And then on old good silver, first place here, we are going to put him to sleep in just a second. But as you can see, oh, we got to give him some food here. Oh, well, he's too sleepy. That's right. That's okay. You can see full effort and there were no care mistakes. So let's go ahead and put this guy to sleep. And uh, they should all potentially evolve uh, overnight, which means that this guy needs to be trained. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually wake this sucker up and do a bit of training. You know, I don't know if that counts as a care mistake or not, actually, because I've read that if you don't turn the lights off, then that does count as a care mistake. But just waking them up, I don't think does. I could be wrong about that, though. Either way, I'm not going to feed him or give him any protein. Um, so the, he'll get his care mistakes from that for sure. And I'll keep him up. We'll probably do a time hack just so that way uh, he gets a couple care mistakes in before the end of the night. So let's just do one set of training. Poor guy's not being fed. He can't uh, can't train too hard. We'll get one effort hard in. I'm going to change the clock two hours back, and then we'll just let him uh, starve for the night. <laughs> That's demented when I say it out loud, but... All right, we got our one effort heart. Not going to feed him anything. We got one hunger heart gone, both of his strength from the training. So we are going to, like I said, change the time on this. And uh, that will allow me to keep him up and get a few care mistakes in before he falls asleep. So I'm super excited about this run. I hope you are too. I'm really excited to dive into lore behind that, behind these devices. I just think they're such incredible devices, easily hands down, one of my favorite feed pets that exists, period. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am wanting this to be a bit more of a community event. So please, if you have an X device and you're interested, go hatch one yourself, raise them with me, maybe play along, battle them against some others if you want to. But my thought is, is at the end, whenever we get to the ultimate stage, I wanna fight you guys. So let's do a me versus you. Raise your X devices and then send me some codes if you've got an ACOM or a Wi-Fi COM, and we'll do a me versus you, we'll battle it out, and we'll see between the three of mine which one to actually come out on top. Really excited for that, and I'll go ahead and tell you what. If you participate in this series, I will actually include extra entries to my Asmaria giveaway. Whenever I get those Asmaria devices in, I'm planning on giving one away, and I want one of you all to win it. So please play along with me, get some extra entries, and then their full details on how to win that will be in that unboxing video. Can't wait. Can't wait to see someone else get one of these so cool Asmaria devices. As I mentioned earlier, you can email me at therealsimzo at gmail.com. I'll put a link down in the description below, and that way you can get a hold of me pretty easily. I can't wait for this run. I know you can't either. And I'll see you all for the rookie stage. Take care of yourself. Continue being amazing. And I'll catch you next time. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. See ya. Hello, 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 Digitamers. I'm so excited. This is Rustichiman. I cannot wait to be joining in on this DMX hatch. I've currently got my boy Gabumon X. Can't wait to show off what this guy turns into. So far, he's got zero effort. But let's see how this goes. Guys, it's the me, the Wadio Wiggy Farm!